My name is Marcus. My name is Connor. This, this is, is our, our story. story. of November 2038 11:21 p.m. Is this Connor? No, not Connor. Can't be Connor. It's Connor! Find Lieut... Okay. Find LT Anderson. Lieutenant Anderson! Where are you? They have pubs, like, in the UK. I didn't have... I, okay, I come across one pub. Where was I? One pub in LA. That looked like a UK pub. So I guess they do exist. Actually, no, two, two, tell a lie, two. They're rare though. Um, is there anything I can do here? I scanned something there. Oh, over there? Facial recognition. Johan Kim. Domestic abuse under his criminal record. record. Delivery driver, Con currently unemployed, so he doesn't like me. Of course he doesn't like me. Of course. What are you? Jimmy Peterson. Business owner. Criminal record none. Because he's been successful. Hey, get out of here. Do you know what? I'm going to punch you in the face, dude. Fuck you, mate. Fuck you. Clearly, if delivery drivers ain't going to be your thing, find something else. Unemployed. They're all unemployed. DUI. There's domestic abuse. Is there anything that they haven't got under their record? Security guard. I'm gonna need you here, mate. There's gonna be trouble in a minute. Hey, buddies. Who are you? Ward Dennis. Sorry, Dennis Ward. Accountant, currently unemployed. Pfft, narcotic supplier. They're in the loo? Can I go through there? I can't. He's got to be in this room. Maybe it's one of the others. Jonah Graham. Unemployed, none. No criminal record. Maybe this guy? Hank Anderson. Police lieutenant. Born 1985. How old would that make him? 32. 85. About 50 something. Jesus. Lieutenant Anderson. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by We're all going to be really old by the time the androids station, happen. Nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. Fifth bar? Why? You were assigned a case early this evening. Oh. A homicide oh. involving a cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Nice, I'm, I'm sorry, assistant. Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. you so this is the actor that I was on about instructions? earlier. <laughs> no. That I'm in talks with. Where? Uh, understanding. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. But now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Wow. Fill his drink, buy him another drink. I think we can go now. You prick. I don't know what's stopping me from knocking you out. Your sense of duty, Lieutenant. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. 
Now you sit your ass back down. We can even program assholes these days. Gotta go. Duty calls. Could have bought him another beer. I didn't choose to do that. Don't really like the way he was acting. I mean, to be honest, if he's acting like that, he deserves his drink spill. What is happening now? What is happening here? You wait here. Okay. Um, how about I don't wait here? My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. No. Conflicting orders. Selecting priority. Follow Lieutenant Anderson. Joss Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Have they said anything? Typical DPD. They don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. I'm sorry, what? It's with me! What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Oh, okay. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Right. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We got a call around eight from the landlord. Seven had paid his rent for eight months, so I thought he drove by. So what's going on? Better an android than an eye person. I agree, Jess. Totally against Apple. No wow. Apple. No, thank you. The Hang on, can I have a look outside? What we got, what we got, what we got? What we got here? Nothing, uh, Carla, nothing. You have the record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time, they hardly ever saw him. Wow, well, stayed easy. Hmm. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. Okay. Okay. I'd say he's been there okay. for a good okay. three weeks. We'll know okay. more when the coroner gets here. Let's... There's a kitchen knife over here. Oh, three Probably weeks. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors I confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Uh-oh. Briefing concluded. So this is one of the, th the things that only Connor has uh, access to. He's able to... Need no human rights like this. Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Okay, so he's able to... Uh, Connor is actually able to assess situations and investigate crime scenes and also piece together what exactly happened. Unlike the other androids, he's built with this ability. Um, and he's one of the only ones that you play that work with the police. So we're going to try and use what he has available to find out what's going on. Uh, we're going to examine that first. Hey, Loopy. Carlos like to party. Analyze. Regular letters, font, cyberlife sounds. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? <laughs> got it. Uh, oh, fucking hell, I can't believe No more shit. drinking blood, please, mister. It's ripping me out. DNA, Carlos. Okay, let's examine. Oh, I don't want to look at it. Ugh. What's he carved on him? Ugh. 20, oh, it's knife wounds, fuck. 28 knife wounds, internal bleeding, 28 stab wounds, decreased more than 19 days ago. Sorry, decreased, deceased more than 19 days ago. Okay, got it. 
what else have we got? We've got uh, Carlos. Carlos Ortiz. Uh, estimated death, time of death, 11.30 p.m. Two clues. Should be more. Resisting data. Fingerprints. Database matches. Yep, it is Carlos. Do, 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 do. Where, where else is there? There's one more. Ah. Nope, I've already done that one. There's one more. Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Mouth. Red ice. Drug addict. Okay. Reconstructing. So this is basically what Connor can do. All right. I want to make sure that I'm looking at all angles. I have unlocked that. It comes up to this bit. I t victim fell here. All right, I get that he fell there. There's one more that's unlocked though. Victim was stabbed. Thank you for the bed stags. That bodyguard is what happens if you stay in VR for. Sorry, that body is what happens if you stay in VR forever. Don't do it, cyborg. It's really hard not to do. It's really difficult though. Hi, Mal. Hi, Rez. <laughs> um, especially as I don't really get motion sickness, you know. Okay, I think I think I've got everything here. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah. He was stabbed. 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. <sighs> Pissed off his android? Maybe? Maybe? Investigate crime scene. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Got you. I'm already Consider on it. it done, Lieutenant. I've already done it! Yeah, fuckers. One step ahead. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? The knife, analyze. No fingerprints. Android involvement. Yeah, that's it. Okay. What else have we got? We have... Oh, on the other side. Uh, another... Oh, hang on. There's something over here. Narcotics. Red ice. Smoke at is actually red though, that's so strange. Okay, I've got another one here. Dried blood. That's where I got stabbed. Where else? Something in the wardrobe. Let's check the wardrobe. Check the desk first. Remember, we have a limited time sometimes, and we do not want to lose out on, on binding evidence. Hi, Busy. Oh, I thank you, Rez. Remember, at Cyborg Angel if you want to tag me um, to ask me something specifically, guys. I wanted to look in there. Come on, dude, you're in my way. Evidence review. Review evidence, four out of ten. Gotta be something else. There's loads more in here. There's an L1. Okay. In the car. All blood. Should have been there a half hour. Oh, hang on. Broken. Bit of a struggle. Open. Is there blood on that as well? No, it's rusted. It's rusted. Uh, is that a... What is that? Oh, footprints. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Didn't escape that way. The 
wear on your shoes is pretty much like a, um, a fingerprint in some cases. For those who don't know, uh, that's the reason that the police take footprints. Because the tread and the, and the different shoe styles and types and how it's worn away um, can match yours exactly. Remember to take off your shoes. If you ever have to kill someone, um, please don't kill someone. Thank you very much, Tama, for the, the host. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did you just finish streaming? Android sex officially better. Oh, sorry, ladies. But plastic can't be it. I'm guessing the male ones are better too, actually. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> Funny that. They don't even have a male section in the red light district in a... In a Amsterdam, I actually checked. I actually checked. They don't have one. How awful is that? So sexist. Is your Android spying on you? Cyberlife could be using Androids to collect private information. Uh, what well, stream with hair? <laughs> ha. Uh, <laughs> sorry, ladies, but plastic can't. Be beat, unfortunately. They don't make a male version. Texas? No. Flesh can't be beat. Ask any male teenager. <laughs> uh, okay, the result of our survey is in, and it's official. 68% of men prefer sex with an android to real women. Oh dear. And with 52% of men saying they've tried the experience at least once, that's a lot of android love to go around. There were a few reasons given for this preference, but we think we know the real reasons. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. Oh, because obviously it's only females that do. Please, suck it. Um, this story was sponsored by Eden Club. You're a fucking piece of shit, Eden Club. Discretion is our middle name. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Love the sex. Fucking sex is talking that. <laughs> Not ever heard about a strong independent woman that doesn't do that. It's all right, you can still be a strong independent woman and talk about your feelings afterwards. Just... Don't, don't, don't go too far, man. Don't go too far. Don't, don't get too attached. Love you. That's all you need. Right, sorry. Um. <laughs> Future looks bright. Future looks Android. <laughs> okay, all right, two, two, reconstructs. All right. All right, let's get this. Damn, triggered, uh, yeah, very triggered. Very triggered, because females talk about their fucking feelings afterwards. <laughs> Could beg to differ, mate. Could beg to differ. Um, is that it, two? I've already got them then. Hang on, wait, there's something I've not unlocked. Something. Jesus. Deviant. Deviant took knife. <gasps> he beat his fucking android. Of course he's. Oh. Oh, look at this. No, no, no. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. He deserved it. <sighs> Fuck. Shit, man. This game. Shit. Talking about sex is okay, don't be afraid. <laughs> uh, we were, we just had a discussion about it and about how sexist that magazine was about it. Because apparently the females are the emotional ones only. It's okay to be emotional, first of all, and it's definitely not females, and it's definitely not something that's weak, but it's definitely not just us. Damn, uh, a strong man is able to be emotional as well. FYI, Ben. Well, not all the time, though. Cut out with the soppiness. Um, same with females. Not all the time, females. Cut it out sometimes. Um, what is this? 
What the fuck? Religious offering. From an android? Did the android even leave? Because we would have... Oh. Okay. Report. Alright. I'm going to report back. The poop statue. <laughs> poop statue. <laughs> Just shit a whole statue out in the bath. That's it. Standing in the shower shits out a fucking statue. Perfectly shaped statue. Um, where's the where's the thingy gone? Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Oh, hello there. I think Darren. I figured out what happened. Yes, oh, yeah. he's not gonna believe you though. Shoot, I'm all ears. Yeah, he's not gonna believe you. It all started it's, it's... in the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. I think we got that wrong. Question I think it was is... in the bathroom. What exactly happened here? I know what I happened think there. the victim attacked the android with the bat. Yep. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Thank you, Shadow Lord, for the nine months. Thank you so much. You're amazing. I really appreciate that Twitch Prime. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Yes. This is true. And then what happened? The I'm glad he said that. To... Uh, the, the living room. The living room? But the android had already had enough. And he tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The I agree with what victim. he did. Um, with the bat, with the knife? With the knife. Okay. I think I got that, yeah. The theory's that. not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. Probably it's still in the house. It was damaged by the bat and lost some theory. Lost some what? Ethereum. Ethereum, their blood. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. Yeah, he was angry, Tink. It evaporates after Very a few angry. hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Find the deviant. Search for blue blood traces. Holy shit! Are we gonna find him? We can see it. It's on the floor here. Blood splatter from there. Something else I can do. Do we want to give him up? I don't really want to give him up. He was defending himself. He's gonna get gonna get fucking destroyed because Damn man. The ladder was used. There's a ladder there. Ooh, that was something hard to notice. Look up. Handprint. Trace this to the attic. Okay, we've unlocked something. We're not going to open it just yet. Um, we're gonna, yeah, we're going to open that curtain, though. Did you ever get your pizza? Just wanted to make sure. I started watching the movie and I've, uh, I've been wanting to watch. Oh, okay, yes, it is here. It is here. It's in the kitchen. I'm going to go grab it in a second. I heard my dog screaming like mental, and I'm pretty sure it's here. So I'm going to go grab it, but first we're going to finish the scene. Holy shit, hang on one minute, one minute, one minute. I can open that bit. I can open the attic, find something to climb. Okay, right, I can't, I can't. I can't find something to climb first. It didn't, it didn't finish in the attic. It finished here. Damn. I can't, what, what am I gonna climb? What's the android gonna say? Thank you, vamps. I appreciate the bits. Thank you very much, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Chew. Can I use a chair? Yep, take the chair. 
Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Hang on, I've got my night lights come on my PC. No, turn off. Check something. Tur turn off. Okay, let's take the chair. Going over here, place the chair down here. Pla place it in the right place. Come on, you're gonna fall over if you don't do it right. Okay. Climb the chair, chair breaks. He breaks his neck. Game over. <laughs> thank you, to, thank you, Wan. If you haven't clicked up streamers already yet today, guys, please make sure you do so. It does really help. If you haven't already tweeted out or um, liked or retweeted or whatever, that's another free way of helping the streamer, and it really, really, really is appreciated. Also, um, also, what else was I going to say? Oh, daily entries on the course, Boy. Don't forget, only a few days left. Mm. Oh, fuck. Search the attic. Hey, Hammy. Can I move? There's something else I can do, right? Can I? No, I can only go that way. Look for the deviant. Yeah, I can only go that way. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Shit. Who? What? Why is this jumpy? Who? Nobody told me this was jumpy. My heart right now. I don't know why. Once again, I'm finally back. Welcome back, Stealth. Welcome back. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Why is this going around like a horror movie? Why is this going around? Oh, why no? There's too much tension. There's too much tension. Oh, it's got red eyes. <laughs> it's got red eyes. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fucking fuck. <laughs> okay. I was just defending myself. He was going to kill me. Oh, I believe you, man. I believe you. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? You're damaged, though, dude. What are you gonna do? It's here, Lieutenant! No! What are you doing? Oh, shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! No! What a fucking idiot! Oh, my Come gosh! On. I didn't decide to do that. It wasn't me. Me, Dot, why would you want to turn him in? Oh my god! I was gonna let him go! 